year one subtraction. In year one, the children record simple subtraction in number sentences using the minus sign, the takeaway sign, and the equal sign. They might be given problems such as, there were eight cakes on a plate, Mary ate three of them, how many were left? The children would use physical prompts, such as these circles that we've got here, these could be counters. The children would be told that the counters represent the cakes, they might even use cakes themselves, and they have eight cakes on a plate. Mary ate three of them, one, two, three. How many cakes has she got left? One, two, three, four, five. And their answer would be five. And this would be used with counters, with physical objects, and the children would recognise how to get to the answer using those. As they get confident with this, children would move forward onto using number lines. Number lines in year one could be marked as the one that we've got in front of us. They could be partly marked, so they might have a start number and um, another number further down, or it might be that they are completely blank, depending on the children's ability. So if we take this as a starting point, this is a marked number line, and we have the question 17 take away 5. Number lines can be used in several ways with subtraction. This subtraction, we've got 17 take away 5, and because there is a big difference between 5 and 17, instead of counting forward to look for the difference, this would be a counting back question. So the children would start at 17. This is their starting number. They need to take away 5, so they would do 5 jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, taking them to their answer, which is 12. 17 take away 5 is 12. This is counting back. This next example is counting forward. We've now got 17 take away 12. 17 take away 12, the numbers 12 and 17 are quite close together. Unlike 17 and 5, 17 and 5 are quite a long way apart in comparison. When we have 17 take away 12 or a number sentence like that, instead of jumping back 12, the children would be encouraged to plot those two numbers on a number line and find the difference because when we take away we are ultimately looking for the difference between those two numbers. So onto a number line they would plot their smallest number at the start which is 12 and their largest number at the end which is 17. They're then looking for the difference between those numbers. 17 take away 12 We've now got to find the difference, so we count up. One, two, three, four, five. So the difference is five. So 17 take away 12 is five. Taking that forward, an empty number line would be done in exactly the same way. So we'd plot our 12, our smallest number first, and we'd plot 17 at the end. If the children are able, they would be moving forward to recognising that they can do a large jump. Some might even realise they can do one large jump of five. Other children might think, well, I can jump to 15, so I can add on three to get me to 15, and I can jump another two to get to 17. If I add those two jumps together, I get five, because we are looking for the difference. Sometimes there can be confusion because we're adding, that's because we're moving forward. Moving, jumping forward is generally easier with the children and if it's not a big gap, that is a strategy that they can use well to find the difference between 12 and 17 even though it's a takeaway. Also in subtraction, the children will have numbers represented by shapes or symbols. Here we have 6 take away 2 equals and we've got the triangle. 6 take away 2 equals 4. The children could use a number line for this, they might use counters, but they need to understand that the triangle is there in place of a number. It's also important that the children realise that the answer to the question could come at the beginning with the number sentence after it. 
and again the triangle is in place of the number 4 because 4 is the same as 6 take away 2.